right, welcome to this screencast. This screencast is going to break down the four anatomical regions of the body and the 10 muscles that are located in those anatomical regions. Hopefully by the end of this screencast, you're gonna have a very good idea of the names and locations of the anatomical regions as well as the 10 muscles. These are 10 key muscle groups that you're gonna be using in various movement that you do throughout the year in class. And also, it's good to know these muscle groups because you're going to be designing your own program and you need to know which exercises go which, with which muscle groups. So let's go ahead and dissect this diagram. Let's start by having you put your name, your period, and the roll call at the top. Let's just get that done. And then we're going to dissect this. All right, so the first thing that we're going to look at here on this diagram is that you see two pictures. One picture, you do not need to start labeling right now, by the way. The first picture on the left you'll see is the rear side of the body and these are all of the muscle groups which we're going to give names to in a minute that are located on the back side of the body and then here is the front side of the body and these are all of the muscle groups located in the front side of the body which we're also going to label. However, we're not going to call it the rear and we're not going to call it the front. We're actually going to give it the real names, the academic language in this particular case is really important. So the, the back side of the body, and you can go ahead and label this, is called posterior. Okay, that's another fancy word for the rear or the back, posterior. And then over here, we have the opposite of this word, which is the front side, would be known as the anterior. All right, so two of the regions of the body would be the front region of the body and the back region of the body. So these are two of the anatomical regions, are the anterior and the posterior. All right, so what we're gonna do now to make this a little bit more understandable is we're gonna take a line here and we're gonna draw it right around waistline. We're gonna draw another line right down the half here. And now you can see that there are actually four regions, all right, four anatomical regions of the body. So all of these muscles that you see above this line are here and here. These are all the muscles above that line. Those are called upper extremity. So go ahead and label this somewhere. Upper extremity. This is your diagram. You label it any way you want, as long as you understand what you're writing. And then down here, all these muscles located down here are lower extremity. All right. Now... I'm going to simplify this for you a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now, we have the back is posterior, the front is anterior, any muscles above the waist are upper extremity, and all the muscles located below the waist would be lower extremity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this, uh, let's look at this as UE for upper extremity, LE for lower extremity, we're going to call this A for anterior, and we're going to call this P for posterior. Okay. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is really help simplify this before we identify the muscles. So, once again, I'm going to divide this body into four parts called anatomical regions. This, okay, right up here, is going to be called upper extremity and posterior, UEP, upper extremity, posterior muscles. All right, this is upper extremity anterior, UEA. Well, this must be the lower extremity region of the body. So we have LE and we've got P, lower extremity posterior. And down here we have lower extremity anterior. So hopefully you understand this a little bit better. Okay, so we have all of this labeled. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify the muscle groups that are located in each of these regions. If we do this correctly, we'll have 10 muscles at the end of this. So there's one interesting muscle that crosses over both the anterior and the posterior regions. And this is this muscle right here. Okay, this is the deltoid. So let's go ahead and label the deltoid. You'll see that it very clearly crosses over both of the regions. It is the only muscle group we're gonna learn that covers two regions. Never know, that might be a quiz question. So here we go, we got a deltoid. Let's hit the upper extremity posterior region first. All right, we've got a couple of muscle groups here. We've got this one, this gigantic muscle group right here, okay? 
we're going to call that the latissimus, the latissimus dorsi. Latissimus, we've got dorsi. Okay, I'm going to change this color real quick to black. It'll be a little bit easier to see. Now, we have this one right here. This is the tricep, oftentimes confused with the bicep. The tricep All right, is right here and also right there. And then we have, let me see, we have the deltoid, latissimus dorsi, and tricep. Okay, so that is, those are all of the muscle groups that we're going to cover in the upper extremity posterior side. So, so far we have one, we have two, and we have three muscle groups. We're not going to count this because it's a crossover. Now, we're going to look at upper extremity anterior. These are the muscles located now in the front side all right, of the anatomical region. So we're going to look here at pectorals, all right, our chest muscles, pectorals. All right. And then we're going to move down to right here, all right, the front side of the tricep. All right, these are called biceps right there. And then we have this part right here, okay, and those are the abs, abdominals. Let's write it all out, abdominals, Shh. abs are short for that, abdominals, all right. Sorry about my writing. All right, so we've got one, two, three, now we've got four, we have five, and we have six. That leaves us with four muscles left for the lower extremity. All right, let's look at the posterior side first. The posterior houses three massively large muscle groups. The first muscle group is the largest muscle group in the body, right here, and that is known as the gluteus, glute, uh, the gluteus maximus. Then right below the glutes, we have this region right here, that muscle group, the hamstrings, which many of you probably know. And then finally, right below the hamstrings, you know these as probably the calf, but we're going to give it the formal name of gastrocnemius. Gastrocnemius. Once again, I'm sorry about my writing, but it's very difficult to write with this pen that I'm using. Finally, we have lower extremity anterior. So we had six up to here, seven, eight, and nine. That leaves us with only one muscle group in the lower extremity anterior side of the body and that is right here and right here known as the quadriceps quads but we're going to spell it all out quadriceps so that gives us seven eight nine and voila number ten so what does this show us this shows us four regions of the body the upper extremity posterior, upper extremity anterior, the lower extremity posterior, lower extremity anterior, and then it also shows us 10 muscle groups. We've got our deltoids, our latissimus dorsi, our triceps, we have pectorals, we have biceps, abdominals, we've got our gluteus maximus, our hamstrings, our gastrocnemius, and finally our quadriceps. So hopefully now, after watching this screencast, you have a very clear understanding of the four different anatomical regions of the body, as well as 10 key muscle groups. So what I'd like you to do as a little assessment for yourself is I'd like you to scroll down and I would like you to see if you can answer these questions right down here, the bottom of the worksheet. Should be pretty self-explanatory.